Welcome back to Glory Homemaker. Thank you for stopping by. In today's video, I will be making yam porridge or yam pottage, popularly known in Nigeria as asaro. I will also be making pepper chicken sauce to go with it. You can see I've cut the yam and I put it inside water to avoid this correlation. Some yams, when you cut it and it's not inside water, it's going to turn pale or red in color. So let's get cooking. First, I have some shombo and tatashi here, bell peppers. So I'm going to be blending this. I have to cut it in. For the tatashi, I remove the seeds. It gives me a somewhat sour taste or bitter taste. So I don't like adding it. So I cut it in. I'll be blending this without water. But if your blender can't take it without water, please add a little water. I'll be using the remaining peppers for the pepper chicken sauce later. Then I add in onions. Then I blend. In a dry pot on heat, I add in palm oil. I'm going to allow this oil sizzle in for a minute. I wouldn't be bleaching it. Two minutes later, I add in the chopped onions and I stir in. The essence is not to lose the color for the asaro. We're not bleaching the oil. I'll stir fry this for two minutes. I add in the blended bell pepper and shambo. Stir fry this also. I'm going to fry this for about five minutes on medium heat. So this is five minutes later. This has dried. You can see the oil sizzling up. I'm going to give it another stir. I add in blended crayfish. I stir it in. This crayfish will give your asaro a unique taste. I add in one cube of seasoning, break it in. I stir in. I add in salt. I stir it in. I always say that your seasoning and your salt should be proportionate to the quantity of food you're cooking. I add in chicken broth. You can use only water for this, but I like sweet mouth for this. I stir it in. So now I'm going to taste for my salt and seasoning. I'll add in a little salt because I still need to accommodate the yam. Then I stir in. Add in the chopped yam. I stir it in. If you observe, the water is slightly above the yam. This will help the yam to cook very soft. I'll cover this to cook till the yam is very soft. To wait for the yam to cook, I quickly prepare the pepper chicken sauce. I prep the peppers like before, then I'll blend. In another dry pot on heat, I add in little palm oil, not as much as before. I allow this one bleach a little, like three minutes. I add in the chopped onions. I stir in. I allow this fry on low heat for five minutes to extract out a lot of sweetness. So this is five minutes later. I'll go ahead and add in the blended peppers. I stir in. This pepper is not as spicy as normal peppers. But if you want yours that spicy, you can add in normal peppers. And I fry this for another five minutes on medium heat. This is five minutes later. This has dried now. I add in blended crayfish. 
I stir in to mix properly. Add in one cube seasoning. I break it in. I stir in. I add in salt. I stir in to mix properly. Now we'll allow this fry for a minute. I introduce the grilled chicken. I mix it in with the peppers. Please subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. It's absolutely free. You will not be charged a dime for doing so. Please also like and share this video. Thank you very much. This has been well incorporated now. I'll cover this to sizzling for a minute. One minute later, this looks great already. Our pepper chicken with palm oil is ready. Let's go back and check on the yam. The yam is ready now. It's cooked tender enough, so I'll use my wooden spatula to squash it. This is what our asaro looks like now. This meal is so delicious. I hope you try it and let me know in the comment section how it came out for you. Let's go ahead now and serve our meal. Our asaro yam porridge with pepper chicken is ready. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.